Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be diving into a Christian Post article on the declining Southern Baptist Convention memberships. And this is an instance of fake news by the Christian Post, and I've got to call it out. And the reason why I'm calling it out is because Christian Post is one of the better Christian news outlets out there. Like Christianity Today is a complete rag they suck um relevant magazines corrupt as well the gospel coalition very terrible christianity today is probably the worst like they don't even hide it and obviously if you're a christian you shouldn't be getting your news source from religion news service either they are terrible as well so with that said, this article in particular by the Christian Post, specifically by Leonardo Blair of the Christian Post, is fake news and it needs to be called out because they are basic it is trying to tell a narrative that simply is not true. So the title of the article is Southern Baptist Church membership suffers a new historic one year decline of more than four hundred thousand. And it's by Leonardo Blair, who's supposedly an investigative reporter and apparently he's from Columbia University Graduated School of Journalism. So he went to journalism school, which isn't a real thing, to be honest, because there's no, you don't need to go to school to learn how to write an article about something. So. So it starts off, and we're sticking right with the data, right? Annual church profile, that came out recently, and this is really my going to be my coverage of that data as well. And you see that we had a massive uh, increase in the droppage of membership, 50% higher than in the previous year over year. So it went from 435, 632, which is up from 287,655. However, they did note that churches rose, and this was because they flooded the zone with a bunch of church plants. And to me, if a church plant, you know, a virtual church plant is not a real thing, and I'm sure the North American Mission Board counted many virtual church plants because I saw them promoting these virtual church plants all throughout 2020. And that is, you know, th that's not a real church. You know, all these people are like, we can't have church online. And they didn't really mean it throughout 2020. But I certainly do. The, you know, there's no such thing as an, a virtual church plant. And that's what um, flooded this number, these stats for the Southern Baptist Convention, I think. That's the only reason why they have 62, a net gain of 62 churches in the convention. So there, there's a historic decline, and this decline started in 2006, so that was the peak year. So there was a huge drop in baptisms in 2020, and there's only 123,160 baptisms, which is not quite 50% lower, but close and you know just goes to show you know these churches instead of baptizing people were loving their neighbor and even if only 50 percent of those 200,000 in the previous year 235,000 if only 50 percent of those were legitimate regenerated born-again Christians you know, that stat carried over to the next year means fewer people were saved, which means the church was not doing its job in 2020. And I'm sure this stat is not unique to Southern Baptists. I'm sure it applies across the board to all denominations, at least all legitimate denominations. And you see the, uh, so McConnell is the stooge from uh, a Lifeway research Socially distant behavior is helpful to, for containing a pandemic. Actually, it really isn't. It actually isn't. Like the distant, the different, the, the MIT studies show that the difference between 60 feet and six feet is negligible. So as long as a virus particle is in the air, not really through droplets, to be honest, but it, you know, it's an airborne pathogen, 
you know, as long as it's in the air, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, once you're in an indoor space, it doesn't matter if you're socially distancing or not. And, you know, even with, with masks, they found that the distance w- was negligible because this wasn't science and it never was. Um, but it hindered meeting new people, inviting people to church and helping them take steps of obedience to be baptized, McConnell said. The additional outreach through online methods did not make a dent in the smaller number of opportunities to share the gospel in person, including fewer vacation Bible schools, live events, and weekly services to invite people to attend. Last year, Southern Baptists saw this few people follow Christ was for the first time in was in 1918 and 1919 when the influenza pandemic was sleep sweeping the world. I'm sure there are other uh, factors like World War One involved in this as well. Um, Southern Baptist baptisms declined by more than four percent in 2019. So you know, basically, the the decrease keeps continuing. Except this was a massive drop. This was like an Oscars ratings drop for the Southern Baptist Convention on its baptism statistic. And another thing to note about the baptism statistic, because that's one of the best metrics that exists for measuring the effectiveness of ministries like the North American Mission Board, but it's not a flawless metric because you have churches like Elevation Church, calling out Stephen Furtick here, like I believe uh, J.D. Greer also practices this as well, spontaneous baptism, which basically means if you feel called, come down and get baptized, and they will ask no questions about whether you've been baptized before, um, whether you actually um, profess to believe in basic Christian orthodoxy or you just feeling it in the moment. And the thing about Elevation Church was they had plants in the audience that were you know designated to come out and get baptized to manipulate people into getting baptized. You know that's what uh, Stephen Furtick was doing at Elevation Church. And you know you can read more about that at evangelicaldarkweb.com org on our article on Stephen Furtick. So baptism stat is not a flawless metric in and of itself. It has a lot of flaws basically because of how malicious people practice it and they can just run up a number. And that's why I said even if only 50% of those are real, it's a significant drop that cannot be ignored. And it shows that the church was not doing its job in 2020. So now, this is where uh, Leonardo Blair, that's his name, starts editorializing. So now he wants to jump into, you know, the area of critical race theory. So, okay, so here we go. Uh, Beyond COVID-19, other issues rankled the Southern Baptist Convention in 2020 continue to do so today includes tensions exacerbated by mass protests against racial injustice and police brutality. Some black leaders left a denomination with large churches over the last year over a statement by the Council of Seminary Presidents denouncing critical race theory and intersectionality. So, again, that was uh, Charlie Dates, who was a heretic. We are much better off without him. Um, I say we, I'm not really a Southern Baptist, but this is, you know, they are the largest Protestant denomination that has a semblance of legitimacy and orthodoxy in the United States. So this is a very important uh, coverage. The SBC defines critical race theory in Resolution 9 as a set of analytical tools that explain how race has continued has and continues to function in society. Intersectionality is a study of how different personal characteristics overlap and inform one's experience. These definitions are crap. There is a there is now an impasse over the issue that could likely contribute to more black pastors and their congregations cutting ties with the SBC if Resolution 9, which holds critical race theory, can aid in evaluating aid in evaluating a variety of human experiences is rescinded at the Southern Baptist Convention's annual meeting this summer. Other high-profile leaders, such as prominent Bible teacher and Living Proof Ministries leader Beth Moore, heretic, also announced her exit from the denomination 
this year saying that she does not identify with some of the things in the SBC heritage which she claims haven't remained in the past. Wow, that is some that is some selective um, reporting on this issue. More explain that she can no longer identify with. Uh, okay, so did he seriously just repeat that same thing? And that's the end of his article. Um, again, what what an incomplete and unsubstantiated reporting at the end there on critical race theory. Leonardo uh, Blair, you committed fake news here by not actually reporting what's actually going on. Charlie Dates and these other woke pastors and other, you know, like uh, and heretics like Beth Moore are in the minority of people who left the Southern Baptists for not going woke fast enough. The vast majority of churches that are leaving the convention are leaving the convention because they are adopting critical race theory, that they are tolerating the Jezebel, that is Beth Moore, and they're putting up with Rick Warren, they're putting up with Stephen Furtick, who I've mentioned before in this video, and that's the reason why churches, legitimate churches, are leaving the Southern Baptist Convention, is because they're not doing anything about this heresy. And that's what critical race theory is. It cannot be used as uh, an aid in evaluating a variety of human experiences because critical race theory is non-falsifiable. That, that basically means it's unscientific. You cannot use it. To, you cannot use something that's non-falsifiable as an analytical tool. It is absolutely useless. It's like a cancer test that tells you if you have cancer even if you don't like the idea that it is a test designed to say that you have cancer, whether you do or don't, that is non falsifiable as un uh, scientific and as also bad medicine. And likewise, critical race theory is bad doctrine. And Leonardo, De Bl Leonardo Blair, not Leonardo DiCaprio is basically trying to lie here saying that, that if the Southern Baptist Convention rescinds Resolution 9, this will further the collapse. And this is fake news. He is trying to put fear in the Southern Baptist Convention that if they push back on critical race theory, they will push black pastors out. And let me tell you, if a pastor is going to leave the Southern Baptist Convention because they denounced critical race theory, then goodbye. Goodbye. They can take their heretic selves out. There is no room for this false doctrine in the church. So, I see that as a net positive. You stand up for orthodoxy and you drive the heretics out. You drive them off the cliff metaphorically speaking. So that's what you want to do if you're a Southern Baptist. That's what you want to do if you are a messenger going to SBC 21 next month. Drive these people out of the church because they are wolves. So that's all I got to say about this article by Leonardo Blair. Going to name drop you one last time. If you like this kind of content, do also subscribe to the Evangelical Dark Web and also subscribe to EvangelicalDarkWeb.org. Linked in the description below. My name is Ray. Um, comment below what you think about what I think, and I will catch you on the next one.